gets a little slickery. Yeah. Well, I had to jump out of here for a few days, but I have returned and um, like a raccoon in a trash can, I've started uh, unpackaging the sawmill. <clears throat> uh, comes in a metal crate. I would assume that this top piece comes off. I don't know, but I've got uh, uh, rail extensions, I got a tooth setter, I got a blade sharpener, I got some extra blades, and uh, I got a tow board, and something else under there, I can't remember now, the thing, but uh, most of it's here, I'm looking for the assembly instructions so I can uh, dig into those this evening at the bunkhouse. Um, tomorrow, I'll move on with this. Uh, yeah. That's it for now. Had a couple days of rain, it's a little sloppy. Um, and I don't know. Got maybe a, I don't know, maybe two hours of sunlight. We'll see where I get here. And I think what I'm looking for should be inside there. It was true. It was in that uh, plastic document holder. And I tell you what, these Canadians are after this man's heart. They put the manuals in Ziploc bags. I could get a little weepy instead of just uh, shoving them in a paper envelope and letting them get wet. They, they used their senses and packaged it like it should be. I think it's in here. The uh, operator's manual is actually the assembly manual as well. So there's uh, plenty to uh, plenty to study in here tonight. Try to make this go as fast as possible uh, tomorrow and Sunday. But for now, I've got some firewood to split and uh, get the bunkhouse warmed up and uh, try to get some rest and start the rest of that tomorrow. I guess it's that time of year where it doesn't know what it wants to do. Eternal fight between the north and the south. is pretty.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Got to take care of her morning business. Fortunately, it's only supposed to drop five more degrees today. I'm so ready for summer. I think I am. Chiggers come with summer, though. I like to use the wrong saw blade because why would I stop and get a uh, wood cutting blade to cut wood when I could just uh, bypass every hardware store you know within the last two hour drive and uh, and just think that I've got wood blades when you know yeah so working a cut around here the posts are kind of cut level but by the time I put a saw in there sometimes they're not and uh, I end up just recutting the line <coughs> for these uh, these plum cuts here. so yeah it looks kind of janky so now you know I don't I don't like to use metal blades on wood but right now I'm using what I got because I don't want to drive an hour to uh, get some wood sawzall blades so enjoy Looky there, got the post cut to receive the rails. Uh, once again, I like to uh, cut out a ledge here to bear weight instead of relying on nails and screws and lag bolts. Uh, yeah, that's done. Um, you might see here, well, that looks a little, little wonky. Normally, uh, I don't mess up, but, uh, you know, you can call home and ask my wife. I, I don't, I don't fail. I'm a gem. Palladium, diamond. Yeah, I'm a diamond. So, uh, hey, you might think that's a mess up, you know, post a little, a little out there, but no, I planned that. Uh, I got a... I gotta do that occasionally to uh, to prove that I'm human. But you know the other two, you know, those last two there, those are just perfect. But just so you know, I am human. 
My wife will confirm that. Wait. Be the other way around. Anyway, yeah. I did that purposefully. So y'all can see, I got the majority of the woodwork done here. Uh, these are nailers uh, where each uh, mill foot will go for leveling. Got those all down through there at their specific locations. And then uh, these two by eights go on top of all this and we'll bear the weight of the mill. It was a nasty day yesterday, windy as hell and cold. Today it's cold, but I can deal with that. The, uh, the wind is not, not fun. I'm going to hold off doing the tar for now. Because I know if I, I'd like to do it now, just because it'd be a good time to do it and make sure everything's sealed well, but I got a lot of crawling around to do on this to uh, assemble the mill. And I don't want to come out of here covered in tar. So I'll build it and then spend some time uh, getting tar on me. Level out some dirt, clear some crap, and got some couple post ramps I got to do in the center section here so I can roll logs up. That'll be the next wood structuring, but yeah, I'm going to have to do that before I can actually operate the mill because Norman can't pick up a log. Well, 24 inches in the air. So, this is where I am today. What am I doing, you may ask? Well, When you've got a pneumatic nailer that you're running off of a uh, battery-powered compressor, um, you'll find that uh, pretty soon you get a manually hammer nails and uh, start cutting up your. Uh, slabs of framing nails. This uh, Milwaukee fuel brushless battery powered air compressor. Um, it works. It'll run a framing nailer, but uh, what's the line in the uh, ACDC song? But you ain't got the guts. Yeah. It's thirsty. It sucks down these uh, five amp hour batteries like nobody's business. Um, it's probably great for a home hobby. You know, a little tiny brad nailer or something. Maybe, maybe air up one tire on your car that's flat. Maybe, uh, I don't know, run a whistle. If you get a little tired of blowing. Put a little air chuck on there and blow a whistle. I don't know. Um, it's a great idea, but <clears throat> uh, if you're off grid and you've got a limited supply of batteries in your hours from any sort of charging station, and if you happen to have uh, not hauled your gas generator out here, uh, you're going to go go tits up pretty quick. Anyway, I did get some stuff done with it, and it was really helpful. Um, but I've got to finish putting the top plates on this uh, mill base and I'm going to have to do that by hand and everything's frozen so I'm going to have to do some pre-drilling with my last battery 
it's got like two bars on it so yeah these these wire nails uh ring shank work great through the gun but uh frozen lumber they uh they tend to bend mainly because you got like they're clipped heads you got half a head there so it's easy to bend those dudes over pretty narrow gauge wire and half a head so pre-drilling is the way to go so uh i'm going to use my last last battery and uh see if i can get this nailed down i was hoping to run a uh impact to assemble this mill but I think I'm probably good, just going to have to wrench it and deal with the carpal tunnel uh, tonight. And probably tomorrow, too. But I'm still having fun. You know, if I wasn't, uh, wasn't crunched for time out here, <clears throat> if I didn't have a deadline or... A any type of drive to keep pushing a wheel. This wouldn't bother me, but uh, I don't know, I always feel like I'm running out of time. Probably from growing up the way I did. Being acutely aware that uh, there's no promise of tomorrow. I don't know, I've held on to that. I don't know, maybe. I don't know if I should have. I felt like I should have. You know, just to appreciate what I have. But, uh, you know, the other side of that coin is, uh, having <laughs> little patience and, uh, a lot of drive. But I still enjoy what I'm doing. Don't get me wrong. I just uh, prefer a bit faster pace. And at some point I'll be living out here. But I'm not right now, and uh, all this uh, time is very valuable.
little tip for you uh, younger fellas. Now what I'm doing here is not running a chalk line for uh, snapping the line. Uh, I've got two boards. So that is an end cut and both boards are probably warped one way or the other but I need them to center uh, on the uh, posts or the line of where the mill's going so I mark center of board at each end stake that one drop a chalk line and then uh, out here in the middle Make sure those uh, make sure those fall. Make sure those uh, that joint, those two marks uh, fall in in line with the string, and then. Uh, Sometimes you gotta pop that string and reset because there's a belly or a bow to this side of the boards as well. There's probably other ways to do this. It's the fastest way I figured. And I'm pretty anal. See under here, this in focus, see under here, see my lines, at the center of each board, I got them meeting, you notice I got a, where am I, gap here, no gap there, so those aren't, uh, those aren't great cuts, but if you run that chalk line, and uh, lay out your centers, and your string on the centers, you're in the center. All that for center. Put you back on the uh, Amazon camera stand here. It's just like you're here. It's just like you're here. Now hopefully I got enough battery yet. I got this in staked. Now I want to get me another one in this board. This one sinking in that post there. Cause you don't want these shifting around while you're doing all your other nailing. And then you're done with your chalk line, your string.
mill installation day one. Lots of nuts and bolts and fasteners. It's not a whole lot of fun. It was fun when I was a kid. And uh, I was a young man mechanicing on things. But it's lost its appeal. Especially 10 billion nuts and bolts. But this is a smart, smart design. I did find an issue in the, the operator's manual, the installation manual. They, uh, this might, this might get a little goofy here. Yeah, they want you to, uh, assemble the rails, which there's a bottom plate there that you can see, and then put these, uh, these bunks on, which have nuts on the bottom. But then later, fortunately I don't read instructions. Uh, and then later, you put the leveling feet on, which okay. But uh, it's a pretty good challenge to uh, put these, these plates on. I don't know if you can see it, it's so sunny out now. Sorry, these uh, plates with all those fasteners, and then these log stops, and then these nuts and bolts under the bunk. Um, without that being elevated, I don't know how you'd do it because once all this goes together, it's stupid heavy. I mean, it's well made. Is that 3 16 steel, maybe? Yeah, 3 16 something like that. For the rails it's heavy stuff um, but yeah and I need to uh, to the point now where I can start to tighten some things up at least snug them and then I need to uh, square all this and check uh, check my dimensions and such Lots to do. I didn't realize it, but I ordered a, uh, I went ahead and ordered an extension, forgot about it. So I could add another, uh, what, six feet? I could add another six feet to the end here and be able to do a 20 foot log. But frankly, I, mean, I could probably get a 20 foot log up here, but I'm not going to do any 20 foot log work. Unless I had some heavy equipment to assist in uh, lifting said timbers. I don't know. I guess I'll store it here and, and see what happens, but I'm not, you know, I hadn't planned on it because I'd forgotten about it. So here we are. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's exciting. Um, I'm going to have to uh, camouflage it. I know it's our secret here, but in a world full of crackheads and dancing bears, this looks real shiny. So, sadly, Woodland Mills, I'm going to have to uh, make this look ugly and unwanted thanks to the thanks to some of the shitty conditions we have in the world today but anyway that's not fun to talk about